When we had last left the Spacefarer, after dropping off a couple of Ryujin operatives who were at the Juno installation, they proceeded over to a mining facility that was being, well, that was, that had interest in it by Ryujin Industries. It was there that they found a whole bunch of Rothsite as well as ecliptic mercenaries on the scene. This led them, uh, by way of a, a little, little bit of information that they found there, to none other than the clinic where it was, perhaps Infinity LTD was doing something with the missing Rothesite shipment. Who could tell? Only time would tell. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Let's head on in. Got anything you need to offload? Trader. Actually, let me make sure I am actually properly tracking it here. Yeah, there we are. Okay. Authorities always buy. Good. Kiosk right here for you. Ranger office. Be careful if you run into those secure wing. This area's off limits. Authorized personnel only. And they like to use okay. Facilities as outposts. You know. The ones I really need to get in there. I'm sorry. I'm just a little lost. I really need to get in there. Yeah, I bet you do. I'm surprised there's not like a free star ranger check. This guy totally seems like a ranger, or at least a free star cop. <laughs> right? There's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? You can't just have anyone going through. I get it. Must be hard for you to say no all the time. I got a narrow window here, okay? Time's wasting. Not my problem. Okay. I'm getting tired of asking. You need to let me in there now. I'm getting tired of telling you that isn't going to happen. There's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? I hear you. What's the harm if you help me? I'd like to help you, I really would. There's no reason for us to have a problem again, is there? I wish that the first one had more of the reactive dialogue or the text based on the actual quest, because there's ones down here, right? Like, I'll bust through if I have to, don't make me use force. There's no reason to have a problem. You don't know oh, what you're shit. talking about. Look, if you need help, talk to someone in reception. Look, now get out of here before I arrest you. Damn, you're just gonna arrest me. Okay. Can I actually talk to someone? Oh yeah. Hey. Last few errors are out of the system. Means I got about ten minutes till something breaks again. Jesus. Uh, hey Ari, remember me? Something else I can help you with? Yeah, there actually is. Uh, what can you tell me about the secure wing, by the way? I can't give you any details because I don't have any. I only know that it's contracted out by someone doing private research. Hmm. Infinity. Okay. I need access to the secure wing. Oh, sorry. No one gets into the secure wing. That area isn't even open to standard clinic personnel. All I know is whoever we contracted it out to has it guarded at all times. The guard on duty has a real attitude problem. I would think Free Star guards had better things to do than guard a medical facility. With constant surveillance, it sounds either military, illegal, or both. Is this typical for the clinic to have private contracts? Oh yeah. Anytime someone needs access to a lot of medical equipment, we usually end up with a private contract. Really? But they're not all this secret, of course. I mean, I guess that makes sense. They're in Freestar space. Okay. With constant surveillance, it sounds either military, illegal, or both. <laughs> Believe it or not, I've had that same conversation with the guard myself. He doesn't even know what's going on. But it's fun to speculate. What the fuck? Okay. I'd be curious to know how he ended up there. Must have screwed up big to end up with a post like that. Come on, you have to know something. I'm curious to know how he ended up there. Well, or here. just between you and me, I know he's posted here because he got demoted for an Aurora addiction. Oh, no he way. He struggles sometimes. He only lightens up when Dr. Oshin is around. I think he has a bit of a crush. It's kind of cute, if you ask me. Any other questions? Oh, okay, I thought maybe I could give him drugs, but I think we can also use Oshin as leverage. Have you seen another enter or anyone enter or leave the secure wing? We'll just ask all of these. I know there's a doctor and some nurses, along with a handful of volunteers. My best guess is they're running some sort of clinical trials, but it's been a long time running. I haven't seen anyone leave, or they may just be releasing them when I'm not here. Huh. 
How do you know he had an Aurora addiction? I know I shouldn't say this, but we've treated him before. God, yeah, you He's should not say that. Because he came forward about his addiction and asked for help. I'm just concerned about a relapse. He still seems to struggle with staying clean. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you just freely divulged that. I didn't even need to have like a unique check or like a persuasion check or whatever, right? Oh my god, that really breaks doctor-patient confidentiality. Okay, oh, uh, what makes you think he has a crush on Dr. Ocean? Whenever Dr. Ocean is around, Oshin. his face just lights up. You can see him trying to hold back a full-blown smile almost. I think a positive relationship could be really good for him. It's just hard to tell if Dr. Oshin feels the same. Who is Dr. Oshin? Dr. Oshin is our newest doctor here. He works in the medical wing under our lead doctor, Dr. Darvish. Uh -oh. I'm sure he'll be the one taking over should Dr. Darvish ever retire. <laughs> okay. I, I, I was almost like, man, are you implying that maybe I should kill <laughs> Dr. Darvish? Okay. No more questions. Thanks for the help. My pleasure. Let me know if you need anything else. All right. Well, let's go find this Oshin person. Let's see. Too bad Ben can't just buzz me in, huh? Well, Maybe he can't. just here to keep the peace between you no. and me. Good okay. luck out there. Let's see over here. Doctor Oshin, Rebecca, Edding. I'm certainly not bored. Darvish. Thanks for asking, Rebecca. This year has really flown by. Of Let's course. See. Oh, Oshin. I remember my first. Few hey. Years. Hey. Thank ben you for delivering that data site. You were a great help. It's you? Oh, someone left liver in my locker. Can you believe that? Oh, who does something like that? I hate liver. Guess I need to step up my game. I must not be pulling my weight. So they're pranking me now. Oh, but why did it have to be liver? Oh, well, never mind that. Like a human liver? Do you need something? Or like food liver? Hmm. I need help, Doc. We don't usually take walk-ins, but all right, let's have a look at you. Better do something about oh. this before you just keel over. Okay. Sure, uh, take care of it all. Okay, I can have this stitched up in short order. All right, this probably won't be the most painful thing, but hold still. Right is rain, as my grandfather would put it. Okay, well, it seems like Thanks we have no... Stopping by. No push or pull you know, there. Maybe it's with this dude. Here, you are being exposed to about a dozen different viruses. Okay. Hey, it's me again, Freestar Guard. Great. You again. Authorized personnel only. Whoa, we can just bribe him. Okay. Pay 2,500 credits. We can work this out. No one will ever know. Give Aurora. I heard you could use something to kick back and relax. Lie. Dr. Oshin sent me. He said he could use your help with something. I'm sorry, I'm just a little lost. <laughs> Is it this easy? Uh, Dr. Oshin sent me, he said he could use your help with something. I think he was saying, like, oh, could you maybe get that really handsome uh, Freestar guard by the door over here? Oh, gosh. And I. <laughs> Freestar guard? I think maybe he was blushing as he said it, too. I don't know. There is, there's, there's definitely a mood in the air. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I didn't think he'd take me up on the offer. Okay, I'll be right back. And uh, don't try anything while I'm gone. <laughs> okay, okay. I won't try anything. <laughs> Check this shit out, Sarah. I'm going to try something. Oh, oh, fuck. I got detected. Sarah, you got to move out of the way. You got to move out of the way, Sarah. Or else he's never going to leave. Okay, look, we can we can actually get in through this. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, let's see here. Pop that into there, and then socket that right there, right there at the bottom. And oh fuck. Okay. Well, thankfully the undos do not cost anything. Thank fuck. <laughs> okay, the brand new patch, huh? Fantastic. Well, I mean, we have to put this one in here. Unless we have to put that one there. Oh, I see. What a fool I am. I haven't seen him. 
Okay. Sure. Are we able to just walk around in here? I doubt it, right? We are detected by someone. Son, I don't want to go over this again. I'm tired, all right? Just not today. You can't be okay with this, though, right? You took an oath, and I'd say this is a firm violation. Look, we got that shipment. Although, who knows what Faye expects me to do with it. But maybe approvals really are on the way. Now, please, get back to Kai. Make sure his vitals are stable. I don't want to lose him. We'll figure this out. I promise. Fine. But if we lose Kai, that's it. I'm going to SSNN. I don't give a shit about my career anymore. Huh. What the fuck? Okay. We need to get in that room. Do you think we can just walk? I'm assuming we can't, but let's just test it out. Hey. We better get that approval soon. Uh, cool computer, dude. Whoa, cool route side shipment as well, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, Kendrick Lane. Excuse me, but this is a restricted area. You need to leave. I'm supposed to be here. I'm with Infinity. Oh, I can't. I can say that. Oh, or a security check even. I'm here for a mandatory security update. I need to run an update on your computer. Didn't we use a similar excuse at the other end of the clinic and that let us get through as well? I'm here for a mandatory security update. I need to run an update on your computer. Actually, can we say what's going what is going on here? What's going on here? That's none of your business. Now leave before I call security. Well, you see I am security. I'm here to run an update. Uh, your timing could be better. A little warning next time. I'll just take a moment to check up on my patient. Okay. Sure. Can I shut this? No. Oh. It's just going to these things up, huh? Good. Antibiotic. Hey, that isn't yours. Okay, I know, Sarah. I'm I'm working for Reugen. This is just what we do. <laughs> okay, personal logs. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch. Okay, another failure. Or right, let's start from the bottom. A new start. Today marks the start of a new adventure in neuroscience. Although Infinity Ltd is still waiting for official approval, we're moving forward with testing their latest technology: an internal neuroamp. I can't tell you how excited I am to be on a new project and have a chance to regain some admiration among my colleagues. I've invited Sean to come work with me on the project since he's familiar with how I operate. Plus, like myself, I knew he could really use the credits. These procedures should be quick and simple, so it's really a matter of Infinity LTD's tech playing nicely with brain tissue. Dr. Fay. Seng Savan is the creator of this new neuroamp, and she's assured me smooth sailing. Let's just hope with our combined expertise we find success. This could be the boost my career needs. My first loss. We lost our first subject today. A-01, Bronwyn Meyer. The procedure went really well, but I believe the neuroamp overheated burning the portions of the brain where it had contact. I sent the results to Faye. She believes she has a solution, but my god, I've never lost a patient before. I sent everyone home. Sean wanted to stay, but I told him to go back. I know he needed to process what happened too, and I didn't want to hold him back. I tell myself it was the neuroamp, that it wasn't my fault. But it feels like an excuse. It must be. And what will happen now? These trials aren't even approved, and I already have a death on my hands. I thought I was signing up for new advancements in neuroscience, but if I'm not careful, this could ruin what I have left of my career. Moral struggles. I like as well the concern over career. Right? I mean, still, concern over losing a patient, but also mention of the career. Which I feel like you do need... You do need that if someone's sort of jumping the sort of regulatory fence, as it were. 
moral struggles. It's hard to believe I once walked into the clinic with high hopes of what Sean and I would bring about. The concept of the internal neuroamp from Faye and promises of fame and fortune provided all the motivation I needed. It blinded me. I never should have agreed to start the trials without proper approvals. I never should have dragged Sean into this. I see now why it was always such a struggle to get my own approvals for human trials. I also see why the contracts are so complex. I never thought I'd lose a patient on my watch, and here I've lost more than I wish to say. Infinity's legal team has assured me that the contracts the subjects signed keep us clear from any legal repercussions. But since the trial itself is still unapproved, I have a feeling they've little to stand on. But somehow, the hopefulness remains. After the initial losses, I told myself no more, but Faye would insist her changes to the prototype were solid, that it should be the last one. I find myself with renewed motivation and confidence, only to find another dead at my hands. We have three subjects left. They aren't aware of the fate of their predecessors. Faye has informed me her latest prototype is complete and on its way. I can only hope I make the right decision. Another failure. Kai's results were initially so promising, but now the poor kid is in a coma. I thought surely he would be the light at the end of this grisly tunnel. We've now gone through our entire list of subjects, and I dread the idea that Infinity will just sign up more. What is going on over there? Has Faye completely lost her mind? I understand when corporations rush things it comes to house when it comes to household products or maybe office software, but not something that will endanger the lives of others. This internal neuroamp may as well be a murder weapon, and I'm the one with blood on my hands. Contracts aside, I'm certain this will end in ruin. Okay. Subject logs. Subject A8. Name Osmia Leinhardt, age 22, status deceased, version implanted 3.0, experimental alloy, titanium grade 120. Notes. Initial procedure appeared successful, but signs of edema began approximately an hour after the surgery. Initial attempts to stabilize through the med pod failed, and condition worsened rapidly. We began surgery prep, a but a A-08 ex, but A-08 experienced complete brain failure before we could operate. And then A-09, Jacinda Carradine, age 25 deceased, version 3.3, um experimental alloy titanium grade 125, which wasn't the last one 120, yeah. Procedure was a success, and all vitals were normal for the first day. Rejection of the implant started approximately 37 hours after surgery. I believe A-09 inadvertently used the neuroamp on a staff member who reported severe dizziness. Emergency surgery was performed to remove the neuroamp, but experienced brain death shortly after removal. A-10 Kai Porter, age 23, status coma. Version 3.5, titanium grade 128. Initial procedure was successful. Patient reported no changes for the first four days. Brain waves were normal. Cognition tests were 100% across the board. Testing the neuroamp on day five appeared to bring on severe headaches with eventual brain hemorrhaging. Neuroamp was removed to prevent death, but patient is currently in a coma. Project Dominion. Introduction. Ooh. Dr. Kendrick Lane, welcome to the Infinity LTD Fold. We hope you'll find the breakthrough research we need to perfect Project Dominion. You came highly recommended by Faye Sengsavon, our head of research and development, so we're very excited to have you with us. I understand your concerns on these human trials being unauthorized, but I assure you, this is just a minor hiccup. I've been told we're, the, we're only a few days away from approval, and we'll get those documents to you as soon as possible. Please remember that all subjects have signed waivers, accepting the risks. 
I hope this will ease any hesitation you may have. The end will justify the means. Lucas Drexler, CEO, Infinity LTD. Research targets. And the reason that they're failing is because they stole the Project Dominion data from Ryujin, right? So they don't have the full... Um, well, I, I don't know. It wasn't developed in the first place, was it? Yeah, I, I guess because the person who is utilizing this here got incomplete data and they're not capable of solving the issue like Ryujin's R&D is. All right, research targets. Project Dominion requires a compatible alloy that the human brain will not reject when the internal neuroamp is surgically implanted. Goal one, find the correct alloy ratio. A series of metals have been provided for a wide range of experimentation. We're currently looking into obtaining a rare metal to be delivered at a later date. Goal two, ensure the effectiveness of the internal neuroamp. Once implantation is successful, ensure the neuroamp can be used effectively. No side effects should be detected for either the user or the target. Goal 3. Minimize casualties. Infinity LTD understands that severe injuries and even fatalities may be encountered. Do not let issues hinder research progress. Notify your contact and we'll take care of it. Okay. Can we look in the back? Huh. Clinic staff. Did Dr. Lane let you in? Yeah, of course. I'm, uh, with security. I'm doing security right now. I'm just, you know, takes a bit for the, uh, the discs to spin up and all that. Are you lost? We don't permit visitors in this wing. Oh, don't worry. I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay. Oh. Just have to get through this day. Hey, this is Sean. Hey, who let you in here? This is a restricted area. Lie. Infinity LTD sent me so I could personally update them on your progress. I need you to tell me what's going on here. I was just looking for the bathrooms. Infinity LTD sent me. In that case, you'll want to speak to Dr. Lane. If you need something, okay. I've got your back. Uh, Please hey, Lane. I'm not ruining my career over this. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, can I look at these? Yeah, patient records. Oh, Kai Porter? Are they all for Kai Porter, or is there... Yeah, there's only one at present. I guess because they got rid of the other patients now. Is Kai Porter actually in there? Yo, there is someone in there. Wow. Look at this. I never should have taken this job. Before sealing inpatient overnight, examine med pod for foreign objects, check vital connectors, ensure full insulation, tighten straps. Okay. Patient records. Name Kai Porter, age 23, version implanted 3.5, experimental alloy, titanium grade 128. Day 1. Surgery was a success. Vitals are good. A-10 only complained about the food. So we ran some extra tests on taste and smell to be safe. Results came back normal. I can't blame them. The food here is lackluster. Incision seals are holding. Hoping the next few observation days are nice and quiet. Right, we did a side quest to hopefully improve the status of the food in the clinic, right? That was one of the first things we did on our initial trip here. Okay, day three, skipping two. Vitals are still holding, with no sign of rejection. A10 behavior appears completely normal. Day 5. First day of testing. A10 was able to influence subject B1 to sit in a chair and pick up a slate. B1 reported disorientation and confusion that lasted for the duration of the test, and approximately 15 minutes later, vitals and cognition testing were all normal. A10 reported a severe headache, specifically where the neuroamp is implanted. Started A10 on standard pain management regimen. Update. Upping pain management to include stronger anti-inflammatory medication. Scans indicated swelling at the neuroamp location. 
Five. Oh, wait. Six. Detected brain hemorrhaging in early mo morning scans, and Dr. Lane performed emergency surgery to remove the neuroamp. A-10 is currently in a coma and has been placed in a med pod for monitoring and basic life support. 7. Brain swelling has gone down, but there is significant scarring. A-10's overall condition hasn't worsened. If he does wake up, Dr. Lane estimates an 85% chance of permanent damage. Huh. Okay. Anything back here? Oh. Okay, here are the others, I see. Is it cold enough in this room for this kind of storage? Or I guess maybe these are like sci-fi body bags. That's entirely possible. Okay. Bunch of medical injectors. Lockers here, anything good? Smokes. Oh, an antique motorcycle. Yoink. Okay. Neat. Well, that was easy enough. Okay. Anything else here? Oh, jeez, my, my mouse movement is a little fucked up. Hold up. I think I got a dog hair in my... <laughs> in my... my mouse? I'm not sure. Hang on. I don't see anything. God, it must be one of those really tiny ones. They're hard to see. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. Let's head on over here. Yeah, it's starting to get warm out, so the love dog, I think, Time is doing some light Ranger. shedding of the winter coat. <laughs> hey, Freestar Guard! Uh... Funny to see you here. Another day, another shift. Yeah, I hear that, brother. Okay. <laughs> Let's head on out. Okay, we just return back to Ryujin Tower. Sure. We're asking everyone to take care of any leeches on their ships. We hey, what can I do for you? Uh, no, you've got so, nothing, really. what's new with you today? How about here? Should we sell off something? Do I have something to sell? Maybe we should keep the Nova Bless Disruptor, though. Oh, we've got this spacesuit, right? Yeah. Huh. I do like the idea of the acrobat stat on it, right? That ain't half bad. Because in Starfield, that actually comes really in handy. Because you do kind of take fall damage a lot by way of using the, uh, the jetpack. Right, it's probably, this is probably the Bethesda game where it is most handy. I mean, they definitely came into play a bit in Fallout 4, especially if you decide to use the um, power armor jetpack, I think. But even then, if you were in power armor, you could completely negate fall damage. I, I want to say there was one weird little area in Fallout 4 that you could potentially get locked out of. That, like, if you fell down a broken elevator shaft or whatever, you could find, like, a fun little item or something. I forget. It's been a while. I think maybe it was, like, some X-01 or what? what's it called? X-08? The, the Enclave-looking power armor. Okay, we should probably get rid of our old helmet, sadly enough. Okay. There we are. Good. All right. Let us go straight to our cockpit. Actually, we can go straight to our objective, can't we? There we go. And let's jump it. Good. This is Free Star Space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. Okay. We don't have any. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. Thank you. Okay, and then over here to Neon, do a landing. Great. I wonder why we need to do a scan that time. I guess I just jumped, right? Okay. And 
then back to V. Hey, keep your nose clean. All the way over here. Good. I wonder, like, if I I hope if they do make a Starfield two at some point, it ends up existing in a world where, like, you know, telepathic agents and like shit just exist, right? You have to deal with, like, telepathic telekinetic attacks or whatever. I would be down for that. Like, psionics or whatever. Can't help but be reminded of, like, late-game XCOM, you know? Hey there. Good to hey. see you again. Yeah, y'all are still here? Damn, I'm... <laughs> Sorry, I ran a few extra errands. <laughs> Did y'all hear about this robot? This AI thing? Whew, that was wild. I also went to the mining facility. Somebody got crushed. Anyway, I got the Roth site. Just hand Vina the ship. Is that my beautiful shipment? This is you your beautiful right shipment. One, Masako. Give shipment. Hopefully all there and accounted for. I always get the job done. A lot of work for such a small amount of Roth site. I always get the job done. Wink. So I heard. Now I shall excuse myself and get to work on finalizing this prototype. I hope so. We're you busy. What did you learn about CM Station RC One? Infinity hired Ecliptic mercenaries to obtain the shipment. Ecliptic was there to roll out the red carpet for me when I landed. What do you know about Ecliptic? Yeah, what do you actually know about them? I, truth be told, I know almost nothing about them. The mercenary group. Only that you mean business if you hire them. They're not known for subtlety, and don't care if they leave a trail of bodies in their wake. I take it they were at the station? Huh. Well, Infinity hired ecliptic mercenaries to obtain the shipment. Hm. Lucas must be desperate if he hired them to collect the Rothesite. Were there any survivors? None, but I made sure ecliptic paid in blood. No one live. Uh, no one lived. Ecliptic killed them all. I'm not sure. I didn't stick around long enough to find out. You ask, but do you really care? Why were there no guards there? Were these pre people unprotected? Do you really care? Corporate culture may have its ugly side, but that doesn't mean we've lost our humanity. Right. Our moves are strategic and precise, as you should know. The moment we justify the slaughter of innocents is when we go from competitive to criminal. Huh. Okay, and this is, of course, the big differentiating factor between you and uh, Ularu. Why were there no guards there? Were these people unprotected? Our station on Karen A3A and Consolidated Mining's contract were both confidential. We had no reason to believe they'd be under any threat. Of course... We had no reason to believe we had a mole, either. Right. I mean, I, I, I almost feel like I, I wonder if at a certain point, is it just um, negligence to be keeping them unprotected? You know, because they work and and sort of disseminate information and dig through shit all the time. They learn confidential information all the damn time. Is it not, like, worth keeping in mind that maybe someone is doing that to you, even if you have no evidence of a mole? Like, is this literally the first time with this mole situation that uh, Ryujin information has gotten out? Surely not, huh? I don't know, maybe. Okay. Uh, none, but I made sure Ecliptic paid in blood. No one lived. Ecliptic killed them all. Seeking Ecliptic on a station with nothing but miners and scientists? Corporations can sink low, but this is a new level. Now, I also had a report that you were spotted at the clinic. I take it you traced the shipment there? Yes, Infinity LTD has a private contract at the clinic for a secure wing. I found records that Ecliptic had rerouted this shipment to the clinic for a Dr. Kendrick Lane. If you know all this, why am I even here? Why am I even here? Our technicians are thorough, but they aren't that thorough. Your ship docking there simply caught their attention, is all. But on the off chance it was related to your assignment, they're currently combing through the clinic records as we speak. 
Huh. Okay. I found records that Ecliptic had rerouted the shipment to the clinic for a Dr. Kendrick Lane. Dr. Lane? Hmm. I believe Vina is familiar with his work, specializing in neurosurgery. Were you able to determine what he was doing at the clinic? Yeah, Infinity LTD was performing illegal human trials to perfect their internal neuroamp. Infinity was killing people, trying to get their internal neuroamp to work. If I tell you, do you promise to make Infinity and Lucas Drexler pay? How legit is the clinic? Why would they have a contract with Infinity? If I tell you to promise to make Infinity and Lucas Drexler pay? They're going to pay, all right. But if you have something to add to their list of criminal activity, I'll be happy to use whatever fuel you can provide. How legit is the clinic? Why would they have a contract with Infinity? The clinic serves all, but it can't be denied that they require credits to run. In most cases, the clinic is also the best choice for research. Not everyone has the resources to have decent medical facilities like us on site. Right. Okay, well, Infinity LTD was performing illegal human trials to perfect their internal neuroamp. So, it sounds like Lucas has reached a new level of desperation to ensure his future as CEO. To hell with corporations and CEOs and profit margins. People have died, and you aren't showing the least bit of remorse. Ugh. I'll make sure Yuko's team extracts every bit of information they can from the clinic's database on this. Between hiring Ecliptic and unauthorized human trials, we have enough to take Lucas down for good. And with the Rothesite secure, it's almost time for us to make our move. Well, let's get started. It's time to take Infinity and Lucas down once and for all. Infinity's research is dead in the water without that Rothesite. It's about time. I'm ready to get this over with. How long is it going to take for Vina to complete the internal neuroamp? How long will it take? Not long, according to her. She and Demarcus have everything prepped and ready. I believe it's just a matter of creating the alloy and molding it according to her design. Okay. Yeah, it's time to take Infinity and Lucas down once and for all. Unfortunately, <laughs> your skills will be needed oh. elsewhere, but only for a brief detour. I'm sure you remember your actions during Directive Theta, especially in regards to Administrator Bayou. Thanks to your inability to follow protocol, we now owe him a debt. One that you get to pay. Uh. I knew it. I knew that man would find a way to make us do his bidding. <sighs> his reach is terrifying. <laughs> Jesus, Sarah. Okay. I don't owe that man anything. The whole situation with Bayou is ridiculous. Ryujin should be running Neon. Yeah? Well, he can bill me. Are you serious? Don't we have more important things to do? <laughs> yeah, well, he can bill me. Or is this actually proceeding forward? I think it is. Are you serious? Don't we have more important things to do? Of course. And we'd be doing them if not for your own show of incompetence. Man, okay. I do, however, like that our brash decisions seemingly have gotten us another quest, right? I, like, do we just completely skip over this if we followed protocol to a T earlier? Or is there another way in which this comes about and we still have to, like, um, you know, uh, sort of adhere to Bayou's whims? This whole situation with Bayou is ridiculous. Ryujin should be running Neon. That is a very long game you're referring to, for a future I hope we all see someday. The administrator wants us to deal with a rival operative. And when I say deal with, it means he wants them dead. This is not an assignment I give lightly. Understood. I'll deal with them. Bayou will never see them again. I thought murder would be a common practice for you. We're in the business of killing people now? Our business relationship with Bayou must be maintained at all costs. Deal with the operative as you see fit. 
As long as your report states the target was eliminated, we'll tell Bayou that the task is complete. Ah, okay. Well, Bayou will never see them again. That's exactly what he wants to hear. Find the operative and do what you must. We already have a team prepped to handle any fallout. When it's done, report back to Dalton. I have a meeting to prepare for. Alright. Travel to the well. Oh, you didn't mention it was there. Okay, Vina, anything new? Hey there. Hey. I'm always happy to chat about my work. Okay. Is there anyone else here we should talk to now that we're back? Don't cause any Like maybe, trouble. um, what's his name at the other section? Let's see over here. Huh. The new noodle on Vina Design? Yeah, Demarcus. Hey. You know, not many operatives have access to this floor. Someone Are you in charge? Really like you. Of this department? No, that'd be V. Uh, excuse me, Dr. Vina Kalra. Lucky for her, I am her chief engineer. She has some very flawed opinions when it comes to engineering. She'd be lost without me. <laughs> I'm just joking, don't worry. Vina and I are good friends. <laughs> we joke like okay. that a lot. The truth is, she's a great scientist. I'm lucky to work with her, but if you tell her I said that, I'm denying it. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> they have this very sort of, like, so chipper, long. naive sort of I office relationship, you know, despite what wild shit here. they're up to. We don't get I very much enjoy it. Here. Okay. Let us get on out of here. And yes. I guess we well, can just head for the well, right? There we are. Deal with a rival operative. In the well on Jemison. Yeah, I'm so curious if if you end up not doing this. You know? It's it fully seems like we would do this no matter what. I can't imagine them having you skip out on an entire quest like this. You know? Unless they give you an alternative one. I don't know. Mind if we stop by the waterfall on this trip? Ooh. I could use a few moments to unwind. Oh, uh, Sarah, I don't, I don't know. You mean the main one? Okay, I mean, I guess we could do that. Let's go to the spaceport, right? I went to the clinic and they said oh, I was sorry, Sarah, I'm leaving without you. Yeah, you know how it goes. Okay. I've flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the NAT. Okay, Sarah, look, it's it's your favorite. Well, I guess this isn't uh, actually the waterfall. Liked that statue. Yeah, this is the statue. Beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what <laughs> oh. the artist was trying Fancy to represent. Seeing you. I was hoping to run into you eventually. Janet? I've got something for you. What? Who the hell are you? I can't imagine what. You don't have to get me anything. Credits, I hope. You still owe me for what I did for you. What? Who was Janet? What? <laughs> Janet, what did I do for you? <laughs> I think I've got an idea what it is. Uh, yeah, Janet, of course. I can't imagine what it could be. <laughs> I, but you know me, I love surprises. I'll give you three guesses. Fuck. Uh, I have no idea. A sack of potatoes? Credits? I don't know. A firm ham handshake? A hug? <laughs> Janet, maybe it's a sack of potatoes? Yep, it's a sack of potatoes. You know. What? Because potatoes are my favorite thing in the universe, and I just couldn't stay away from them. No, dummy. It's some credits I oh, right. to pay you back. Yeah, of course. You were joking. It's not much compared to what you did for me, but I hope it helps. Here. Wow, three grand, Janet. Uh, no problem. <laughs> what the fuck? What did I do for you? Uh, what are you doing for work now? Oh, I'm just working the front desk at a local accounting practice. It's not glamorous, but it pays the bills while I take classes. I oh. don't know to pursue a history degree or get into film studies. I've always been interested in Earth culture. So, one of those seems appropriate. 
Oh, I remember you now. Holy shit, I actually remember you. We ran to like a professor check. You were having like a sort of crisis of, I don't know, higher education, sort of deciding what you wanted to do with your whole situation. Right? She was standing out front of one of the buildings out here. My God, I completely forgot about that. I would have never expected to see this crop up again. Okay, well, thank you so much. Oh, no problem. I wanted to keep my word. Anyway, I was hoping you could do one last favor for me. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Since okay. Since you have a ship, would you be able to deliver a letter to my sister Julia for me? Is there no, like, intergalactic mail system, right? Does, does no one actually do this? I can do that for you. I wasn't planning on going back, but as long as you don't mind me taking my time, I'll do it. I'm not even sure where they are right now, but I'll find them and get it to her. Not right now, I'm kind of busy. Wait, do I know your sister? Are you not who I was thinking of? Wait, who the fuck are you then? Uh, sure, I can do that for you. I knew I could count on you. This means a Oh, lot I should have said the one where it might take a while. Let me just add a few more details to my letter. And... Okay, there. Thanks again. Take care. Dear Julia. Dear sister. Okay. God, Sarah, do you remember what the fuck this is all about? <laughs> huh. Janet asked me to deliver a letter to her sister, Julia. I should bring it to her. Julia. Am I thinking of someone else? Is this not actually who I thought it was? Can I read the letter? Oh, I can. Okay. Dear Julia, I know you were upset that I left the constant. Oh! Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. This is who it was. Right, Julia and Janet, of course. Right, okay. It wasn't an easy decision for, for me either, but you know I was unhappy there, drifting aimlessly forever. I hope you understand why I had to go, just as I understand why you had to stay. Things are going very well for me here in New Atlantis. I have a job working the front desk at a small accounting business while I take classes. I'm not sure what I'm working towards yet, but I'm thinking of either majoring in Earth history or media production, so I can work on, in film. I know, big difference, but you know I've always been jealous of your, your job aboard the Constant, and now I can pursue something like that on my own. I've also been seeing someone I met after striking up a conversation while getting lunch one day. Their name is Bodhi, and so far, things are looking or going well with them. Anyway, I hope this letter finds you soon. Maybe I can come visit next time I hear of the Constance whereabouts. Love, Janet. I like how she just presumes that the Constance still hasn't settled down yet, which, true enough, right? Fascinating. Okay. Yeah, uh, her sister was the teacher on board the Constant, remember? And she was working in, like, hydroponics. Hey, it's you. Wake up. Wow, someone else that she recognized. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. Well, you know what, uh, Sarah? I don't remember exactly how to get back to the waterfall really nicely, so we're just gonna fuck off over to the well, I think. Actually, we can kind of do that from here, can't we? Right? Let's see. Let's bring back up our tracker. Travel to the well. Yeah. Perfect. Man, it has been a while since we were at New Atlantis. It has got to be said. Okay, down here. And then to the well. Good. Which, you know, makes sense. That the Freestar Rangers quest arc would have little to do with the well. Okay, and then up here. No funny stuff with Deal that with the bag. operative. Okay, can I somehow access this easily? Yeah, we can just jetpack up here. Huh? Oh dear. Deal with the operative. Are they in here? 
No. Okay. Some citizens. Did I maybe already deal with them? In this building, maybe? It's still I over there. I help out Henry from time to time. Not very often these days. Huh. It's not moving. There is no operative there, though. Maybe something will happen if I try and go a non-boost pack route? No. Okay. Maybe they're up here somewhere? Do we see anyone who may look like an operative? UC security. Andy. Huh. Jeez, I don't know. Oh shit, the Vevictus propaganda. A true United Colonies hero, fuck me. Okay. Oh, I wonder if it's tied to this stuff. Okay. Well. Huh. I don't really know how to fix it. Is it broken? Or is it meant to be this way? Here, let's do a quick save and then a quick load and maybe that'll change something. We'll see. Otherwise, I guess we could end the video here and then I'll just look it up and see if there's some kind of known issue. Okay. This is the real punishment for having gone against protocol. You just get hard locked at this stage of the quest. <laughs> Okay. Huh. Yeah, I don't see him. I don't see anybody. We don't have any other information to go off of, do we? No. Okay. Maybe if I leave the well and re-enter? for the third straight quarter. The higher ups would we can do that. Let's give it a shot. Oh. Well, you know what? Maybe we, maybe we can't. I thought the entry exit point was around here somewhere. Oh, here we go? No? Okay. Switch. Can open this. I don't remember that being there. Huh. Yeah, I don't remember that door. Weird. Okay, here's the soccer area where we got major doo-doo. I don't remember these doors being around here. Is that new stuff? Huh. Here's the panels again. Right, Topher's key. Oh, hey! Big Bruno is back, baby! Oh no! Everyone's freaking out about Big Bruno! Well, I suppose they're okay. not going to need it anymore. Fucking Big Bruno returns. Reminds me so much of, um, in Fallout 4, the grow, bunch of named ghouls Ranger. from Sanctuary respawning every so often if you run by that specific area in Fallout 4. There, there's just always these named ghouls that seemingly come back every so often. Damn, people are fucking losing it, dude. Okay. Well. Our objective hasn't shifted any. Okay, here, let's go on back up. And maybe we'll come back down and see if it... If anything is different? Maybe? Okay, over here, the well. If this doesn't work, I don't know what to do. Like I said, I can just look up and look it up and see if anyone has a similar issue. It would be most unfortunate if we're kind of screwed from completing the Ryujin stuff because of this. 
Uh-oh. Seems like we might be fucked in a major way. All right. Huh. Maybe they're around here somewhere and we'll, we'll be able to find them. Right? Maybe they'll be at least that. Okay. Well, like I said, we'll, uh... We'll call it for now, and in between videos, I'll look it up and see if there's uh, anyone else who had the problem that I'm getting. And maybe we can, I guess, maybe put off the Ryujin quest arc and see if there's, like, a, a fix, right? Similar to what happened at the Stroud Eklund area. And if that's not the case, right, if we put it off and try to come back to it later, maybe we just... Um hit up console commands if we really truly have to, right? I'd rather not, but it is an option that we have if we need it. Alright, well, until next time, please take care of each other.